Okay, I'm back, and uh, welcome to another video. Just came back to the town. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Hello. You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, not by a long shot, Mr. Morgan. We lost a lot in the move. What are these girls? God, we're doing. Hi there, Arthur. Hey, y'all. Hello, Arthur. Thank you, Mr. Morgan, for sparing me like that. I'll work hard. I am not a bad fella. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. And boy, hmm? thank you for saving my life. Well, yeah, of course. I don't think I've seen him since uh, the since we um, went our separate ways. Hi, you okay, Abigail? Settling in. Good. Let's, see. Let's donate some. Bring uh, me something soon if you can, Arthur. All right, Pearson. We got Good food job, though. Morgan. Need health, health stuff. Good evening, Arthur. Good eve. Sound like a vampire. Good eve. Good evening, Arthur. Have a look at that picture of war. I hear you I saved Mr. Bell from a hanging. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly. We're all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Of course, Miss Grimshaw. How do I donate medical stuff? That's what I'm trying to do. Drunk. Evening. It's really loud. There's no way I'm giving away my goldens, though. Nope. I kind of like him uh, rough looking. Put ammo in there. Well, I'm alive, Miss Grimshaw. These girls, Mr. Morgan, they're driving me to despair. Why? No gratitude and no manners. This younger generation, it saddens me. The world is ruined. Ruined. World is ruined. Okay, where am I gonna go? 
farted around enough. Okay, I paid my bounty off at Strawberry. Um, the bounty. I don't think I can go down there. Yeah, I don't think I can go to Blackwater because they will uh, will get me quite off quite a bit. I guess I could do that. The other thing is there's no station up here, so I guess I just gotta gotta ride. Okay, here we go. Um, listen, Abigail, you you deserve so much more than I can manage. I guess, Is that a I dog or a wolf? Oh, it's real easy. What do I do? Pretty much the exact opposite of what you have been. Real fun. Oh, I ain't joking. Just use that tiny brain of yours, and whatever you think is right and proper, do the exact opposite. Then, you'll raise a man. Just like your mama did? Come raise on, a real man. Like you? Good evening, Arthur. You did good in town, finding out about that train. Thank you. It was fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. Good, sure. Yeah. There's a train coming, so I really don't think I should run in front of it. Okay, I'll be back when I get there. Okay, I'm here. I don't know what I'm supposed to find here, but I'm here. I think I'm gonna get on my horse and walk up. Chelonia. Get rid of this marker real quick. The great Chelonian master. Chelonian master. Across the Lanahasi, into the wilderness. Gentlemen. Shell of safety. 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 Speak to the boy. Arthur. Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, like a bear. His sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen? Isn't that sir? pretty. I don't know what path I'm um, still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. <laughs> what do we search for? 
do you think? <laughs> Stupidity. Um, we'll say purpose. I'll be I'll be nice about the whole thing. I don't know. Safety. Safety and meaning. I'm not joining, but yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Jamie knows the truth. They all turtles course, on their chest. You may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm. I'm not. I'm not coming with you, Arthur. Just come and speak with Mary. Then make up your mind. Sure. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help. Of course, I've got to chase him down. At least he's falling the road. I'm really bad about this last other thing. Jamie, just hold up a minute. This is none of your damn business. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. Come oh, on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. I don't have to answer to you. Whoa. I guess I just gotta keep going. Yeah, basically just had to do that. I don't think there was any call to catch him. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm going to... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Ah, I was too slow. I don't know what I'm trying to do there. I know I'm trying to do a, like a gunslinger thing, but I'm not repeating that. We'll do the checkpoint. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Now calm down. That wasn't too bad. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? Yes, you have. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? 
Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Hell. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. Oh, but ran into those guys. Kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. <laughs> Lonely though, really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. <laughs> of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. <laughs> All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. I don't know what station we're going to, but we'll see if it, how far away it is. Busy little crossroad over here. It handled it well, though, didn't it? Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Well, 
That's as fast as I can go. Well, let me go any faster. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Jamie! Jamie! Come home. Please, you've... Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. Trains take off quick. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god awful fool of myself once more, but. Somehow, I imagine I shall. I got silver. Wonder, um... Someone gonna help a fella out. Oh, within two minutes. Hmm. Definitely, definitely didn't do that. Get some food. What do you mean? Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Hey, you're welcome, welcome here. We. You hear about that ruckus over at the hotel? Someone brought some new girls into town. Caused quite a stir. Because real men don't care where other men turn. That's just a fact. If I had you on the other side of it is, I do care. You ain't town. no man. Somebody's had a few. Ain't you caused well, enough trouble you. around here? Me? Nah, nah. Sorry, you must back. have me confused. Thing giving you a headache? Thank you. Move out the damn way. <laughs> I need a wash. Yeah, Beth. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. <laughs> the noise in this place. No 
don't think I'm supposed to be in here, but... Let's get a bath. Oh, I'm getting in the bathtub. At least there's lots of bubbles. Oh, tappy tappy. Can I be of any assistance in there? Um, sure. Oh, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. This might not be get safe for milk. work. Don't you worry about a thing. Yeah, doesn't look too safe for work. You'll leave this place feeling brand new, you know. You let me know if you need anything, all right? You might be the friendliest person I've met in this town. That's how it goes around here. Oh, just screw my leg. Sorry for smell. It's been a while. Well. So how are things with you? Yes, yeah, not too bad. You do feel tense. Do you want me to do anything? Chat or anything? All right, I think that should do it. Oh. It was a pleasure. All the best to you. Um, I'm gonna save my game before I do anything in here. I'm gonna search the drawers, but I don't want anybody to barge in. I should have done this beforehand. Let's just save, just to be sure. Because I am gonna... I'm looking through stuff, so... There's nothing in any of these drawers. What anybody know I was in here? He did with his foot. That's exactly what I would have done. If you need a wash after a long journey, I got someone to help you. I just did that. What is that noise? Look like at a cat. Ha, ha, ha. 
This one to know what this crown is. Is he getting tortured? Oh. I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, I hear you out there <laughs> laughing at me. Oh, just go the hell away. It's just him. Is he pooping? Sweet mother of mercy. Uh, it's like trying to drive an ox down a barrel of a gun. Oh. <laughs> I think he's constipated. In bad shape. You can stay another night if you want. I didn't stay a night, period. Thanks. You know what? Bad worse. That's not custom. That's not the outfit I was wearing. Hold on. At least I got my hat on. Okay. Let's see. Don't know why that's red. I haven't done anything up there. Um. I really want to go, um, to that fence. Hello, puppy. Do that all the time. Oh, they do. Let's get out of here. What are you looking at? Oh, let's see. I am gloriously fuddled now. I feel so light and heavy. Is that the, um, the same time. What the sheriff? Have I told you what an amazing woman you are? Oh, but you love birds. Let us be free. And wild and sad, my dear. Come on, get on your horse. Come on, girl. All right, I think I'm going to go back to camp um, real quick, and then um, 
I don't know where I'm going to go. We'll, we'll figure it out. So, um, so I'm going to head there and I'll probably head, da, 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 da. I'll figure out what I want to do. I think, I don't think I can go down here though. I mean, maybe I can. I didn't think I could. And then strawberry is supposed to have, um, um, what's his face is down here. Stable. Uh, they probably won't like me too much. Taxidermist house. So anyway, I'm gonna go to camp first, and um, and we'll we'll see what happens. Um, I'll catch up with you next time. See you later.